in this video we will design this nice grid background for our blueprints plugin inside react js let's go inside vs code we have this blueprint.js and blueprints.css so let's change this abs to um, fixed and fill and blueprints and for uh, the blueprints let's add dot blueprints and a background hash 212 b3b and let's will be fun let's save uh, and uh, class name blue oh sorry blueprints not blueprints so here we go now we need to go inside the uh, source create a new folder let's call it blueprints because we will create the entire blueprints plugin plugin inside this so let's create bg.js and rsf and for bg just call it background and save and for the div just remove it because we need an svg and for the svg just add class name of underscore bg and a style of width should be 100% and height should be 100% and inside uh, the SVG we need a pattern and actually this pattern will um, handle all the great thing and inside the pattern we need a path and for path we need a stroke and stroke will be a color variable or a hash ddd and the color will be from the props and color and for um, the stroke width, stroke width, I guess we should break it down to keep it clean. And inside the stroke width, we need a stroke or a value of one. The stroke will pass from uh, props. And after the stroke, we need a couple of more things. But before that, let's import use memo from uh, react and we need um, scaled gap and this is the gap that is between uh, grid x and y scale gap and we have a gap of 15 and we will multiply it with a scale so we need a gap and we need a transform which we will be using to move our grid on pan and zoom so let's add a um, const x y and oh sorry x y and k for scale equals transform or by default we have x0 y0 and k is 1 uh, k is for scale by the way and we need one more thing that is const pattern id equals use memo and for memo we need um, a pattern id just just create it with math.flow and add math.flow and multiply it with 100,000 and for re-render just pass an empty array to keep it static so there is pattern id so let's go inside pattern and pass that pattern id to the pattern and for x just x percentage or module or whatever you pronounce it with scale gap and uh, duplicate it and we have y and y is percentage scaled cap and we need 
width width is scale cat and oh sorry and height is scale cat we need pattern units and the pattern units will be the user space on use there we go now we need to add the actual path and that is m and the m has um, scale gap divided by 2 and 0 and v and we have scale gap with x y and now we need m0 to move and dollar scale gap divided by 2 and for h we need scale gap there we go and i guess we are good now we need to fill this pattern inside a rectangle so let's add a rectangle and x is a zero and y is zero and uh width should be 100 percent and height should be and fill this rectangle with a URL with that parent ID and we are good just save it go inside blueprints and import it import background from blueprints and bg so let's add background and save and check there we go we have this nice background of grid now quickly comment this line for now and now you can see this is a, a harsh white background so we need uh, to add a color that if you remember we have added inside the props so let's add a color and the color um, let's use hash 3 c4 and e and see yes that that this is it and that is a nice background color so this is it for this video and in next video we will uh, continue the blueprints project